everyone, welcome to Pelvic Mama. I'm Casey, and today I have for you a yoga for sciatica in pregnancy class. So we're going to focus on five amazing stretches that are going to help you relieve some of your pain and get you back to, to feeling good. So what I want you to really focus on in today's class is being mindful and being aware. So everybody's body is different and what works for someone might not work for someone else. So if anything causes you more pain, especially like a shooting pain or anything that just exacerbates your sciatica, I want to come out of that stretch or just back off from that stretch and find a place where you're most comfortable. This class is safe for all stages of pregnancy, so grab your mat and let's get started. So we're going to start in a nice seated position. So I'm going to get you to come and cross your legs. Just have your right leg crossed in front first and then just shuffle them forwards a little. So what I want you to look for here is that your front shin is more or less parallel or in line with the top of your mat. And then when you look down in between your legs, you should have um, like an upside down triangle type shape and then you know you're in the right alignment. Now once you've got that going on, just shuffle a little bit. You can move the fleshy part of your sit bones away so that you're lifted up nice and tall. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you and you feel like you're being kind of like pulled back and you're not able to sit nice and upright, then I want you to just pause the video and go ahead and grab yourself a pillow or a cushion, or if you have a yoga brick, you can use that as well. And then just pop that underneath you and you're gonna do the same pose, but just with that little bit of lift. Now from here, I want you to take a little bit of a forward fold. Now this is gonna be very dependent on everyone's individual body. So it's not really at all about how far you can come down, but just you listening to your body, you being aware of your body and just seeing where your edge is, where is the appropriate place for you to pause and to breathe and to let your body release into this really great stretch. So as you start to just inch your way forwards, you're gonna to start to feel that stretch. You're gonna to start to feel it in the side of the hip. And you may feel it on both sides. I can feel it on both sides now, but most likely you're going to feel it more intensely through the leg that is in front. So your right hip right now. Now you can let your head drop down if that feels comfortable for you. And then as we hold it here for a, a minute or so, if you feel like you want to take it a little bit further down, you can. But the important thing here is that this isn't aggravating, um, aggravating your body. It's not causing you any more pain, any more discomfort. Yes, you're going to have a stretch and it may be a little bit uncomfortable, but I don't want any pain, so no shooting pains or anything like that or anything that's just... Um, aggravating the pain that you're experiencing from your sciatica anymore. All right, so let's come into this position. It's really great for your lower back as well. And we're just gonna soften in as much as you can. Let your body relax into this stretch. And you can take your focus right into the area where you're feeling the sensation in your body and you just focus on that. Just letting yourself soften. So often we're in a rush to, you know, to fix things, to do things. But these stretches, the practice of yoga encourages us and teaches us to just slow down, to take a few moments to breathe, to be with our body and feel the effects of that. All right, a couple more breaths here and then we're gonna switch over to the other leg. Okay, so just carefully making your way out of that stretch. If you feel like you want to just shake your legs out a little bit, sway them from side to side, you can. And then we're going to do the same, but you're going to bring your left leg forwards now. So same again, I want you to shuffle your legs forwards a little bit so that the shin is parallel. Find that upside down triangle between your legs and then you can just inch yourself forwards. If you're sitting on the pillow, make sure you do that again. 
And so you, you may notice that one side is tighter. In most people, we have a tighter side. This is my tighter side. So just notice what's there for you. Not really about judging or, um, or that it, it matters. It's just awareness. You know, we get to understand our body better, how our body works, how our body feels. And that's a really, that's a really powerful practice. All right. So that's just taking a few breaths here. You can close your eyes. If you want to drop down a little bit further, you can. And then we're going to slowly make our way out of that stretch. <clears throat> and we're going to come into shoelace. So we're going to stay seated, but what you're going to do this time is you're going to bring your right leg over your left leg. Now, this right leg might be up quite high for you like this, and if it is, that's totally fine. If you can take it a little bit further, you're going to bring the foot further over to the left, and then you're going to take that left foot out to the right a little bit. And then you can just adjust yourself so as much as you can, you're sitting flat on your sit bones. Your right hip's probably going to be a little bit lifted up off the ground. Totally okay. So as much as you can, we're going to bring the knees on top of each other. But like I said, there's so much variation in this pose. It's not just about flexibility. It's about the anatomy of your body and, um, and the shape of your bones and that varies from every individual. So don't worry if um, maybe the foot even doesn't get to the ground. You know, maybe it looks more like this and that's okay. You're still going to get the benefits. It's just going to look a little bit different to mine. So don't feel like you need to um, kind of like tug and pull yourself to get into a position that looks similar to mine because I don't want you to do that. It's not about that. All right. So already sitting upright, you should feel that stretch in the same area as the previous stretch with the legs crossed. It's just a little bit different. All right, so from here, you can take that little inch forwards again. You don't have to. For many, many people, it's more than enough to just stay upright like this and really get that stretch. But if you feel you wanna take it a little bit further, you don't need to see just a couple of inches and I'm already getting it pretty deep in the right hip area. Right in the piriformis. I'm just taking some nice, long, deep breaths here. And this is a really, really strong one. So just do the best you can. If you need to release out of it, by all means, do that. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna switch on over. So you're gonna bring your left leg over now and then just adjusting yourself, finding that position where you want to hold it. Take a few breaths here in this upright position. Make sure your shoulders are soft, relaxing down your spine. And then if you wanna take that little lean forwards, you can go ahead and do that. All right, making your way out of shoelace and you're going to take your legs wide now. So coming into dragonfly, if you were sitting up on the pillow, then you might find that you want to do the same again here because we're doing a lot of forward folds and we need that forward rotation of our pelvis. And for a lot of people, just having that little bit of elevation is so, so beneficial. 
All right, so what we're gonna do here is you're already gonna start to feel that nice stretch through your inner thighs. You're gonna slide your left hand down your left leg and we're gonna reach the right arm over <clears throat> and you're gonna feel a stretch down the side of your body. You can let your feet relax here and I want you just a little bit to rotate your chest open. So rather than closing your chest and reaching for the toe, we're just gonna open a little bit so that we get the stretch down the side and then we'll move into that other variation in a moment. And you're just feeling that nice stretch at the top of your hip, the side of your waist. And then a little bit different now, we're gonna close the chest and reach for the toe. So it's not really about getting your toe, it's just about that different, that different alignment and getting into a different part of your body. So if you're touching your knee, it's totally fine. You're gonna feel how it shifts a little bit more now to your lower back, your sacrum. I'm taking some slow, long, deep breaths here. We're asking a lot of our body here. You know, the, the exercises appear to be simple, but when you're actually doing them, you start to realize how, how much is involved. All right, and then coming up, we're gonna switch sides. So right hand sweeping down your leg, you're gonna reach your left arm up and over. So we're opening our chest for this first one. You can really feel that stretch down at the back of the right leg. And then we're just gonna close our chest a little bit more and take that little variation, reaching towards the toes and getting that nice stretch in your lower back. All right, you guys, making your way up and we're gonna to come to stand up now for our next stretch. So just coming over onto your knees and then standing up. We're gonna come into a forward fold actually. So take your feet wide, bend your knees as much as you can. So we, we are asking a lot of the backs of our legs here, but we are gonna bend our knees, so it's okay. So let's start with our left leg bending. And then you're gonna straighten your right leg as much as you can. It doesn't need to be straight, but it can be. And then what you do, this one's kind of a little bit, um, you kind of need to move around a bit until you find the right spot in the piriformis. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push your hips back. So you're bringing your weight into this right leg that's straightening more than the left leg. So once you've got the weight in that leg, then you're gonna push your hips back or push your bum back. And it's a little bit, I find, pushing it to the side as well. So pushing it to the right side. So rather than just straight back, that gets up more in the back of the leg and the hamstring, you're gonna push it to, yeah, push it to the side. And you're gonna feel that here, right in the area we want to work. You can let your head drop down if that's available for you. And then feel free to just move around here. So you don't need to be static when you find that spot. You can kind of like just move around until you find the tender tight spots and then you can linger there. All right, let's switch sides. So we're gonna bend into the right leg now. You're gonna straighten your left leg a little more. And then remember, we're gonna push our hips back and to the left side now, or wherever, wherever you feel the stretch. It is a little bit different for everyone. All right, and releasing. We're gonna come sit back down for our final stretch today. We're gonna to do a nice butterfly stretch, a nice wide leg. So your feet are coming together. You're gonna drop your knees out to the sides. 
just shuffle a little bit so you're right up on those sit bones again. If you want to sit on the pillow, by all means, go ahead and do that. And we're just going to take it into another forward fold. You're going to feel this through the outside of the hips, the insides of your legs. And then just take it as far as you want. You can let your head drop down. You can stay upright. I really just want you to pay attention to your body. And when you start to pay attention to your body, what you'll notice is that your body changes from day to day. So you might do these stretches today, you might do these stretches in a few days and it can feel dramatically different. So you really just need to honor where your body is in the moment. And just accept that and just work with that. And it's much more enjoyable practice when we can allow ourselves to move in that way. All right, a few more breaths. And then we're gonna make our way out of our butterfly pose. Thank you so much for joining today. I really do hope these stretches help. Feel free to practice them as often as you can, as often as you need relief. And go and have a wonderful day. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do leave me a comment and I'll see you for the next video. Bye guys.